morning, Winston-Salem. I'm Randy Britton with the City of Winston-Salem Marketing and Communications Department out here in Quad 4 in the City of Winston-Salem. Today is the first day that we have all of our leaf collection crews working in this particular quad. Uh, this is the second round of collections. Uh, so this is this round two for Quad 4. And if you'll recall, Quad 4 is made up or bordered by Renolda Road, First Street, comes out Liberty Street to Old Walkertown Road, and we are in the area just off of uh, uh, Box Mountain Road. So today I have with me, just as I have in past weeks, uh, as we have given you an account of exactly how the leaf collection is going, a uh, person who's involved in it on a daily basis, Antonio Bonilla. Antonio, good morning. good morning, sir. How you doing today? Doing well. Doing Great to well. see you. Great to see you. Nice, pretty sunny morning after all that snow. Yeah, good to be back out here working again. Antonio, how about giving us a sense of exactly what you're seeing? We're in round two, quad four. So you guys have been at it now since the first of November. There's still quite a few leaves out here. We're getting them. Uh, the uh, not as bad. I think some folks are getting better with not putting the brush in there. We ask them not to do that. Get them as close to the curb as we can. Uh, we've been running pretty good after after so much wetness. They got real wet. Kind of stalled us a little bit but now it's picking back up the sunshine so it's getting pretty good running pretty smooth well that's good to hear especially after we had all that snow the first part of the week so i know it did knock us out of uh, being able to work that particular day on monday mm -hmm. but glad to hear that you guys are able to recover well mm -hmm. and how about talking to us about how you handle a street like this where it's not real heavy but then i take a look behind us here antonio and i see there's a what i call a natural area or an empty lot where you got trees and just through natural wind and just the elements you've got some actual leaves that are sitting there on the curbside are you going to collect those while you're out here today yes what i try to do is when i come to an area like that i still try to make in the neighborhood i still try to push it back some so I'll go in maybe two or three feet, not to get all the way back into the wooded area, but anything that's piled or, or has piled up either by natural or sometimes being blowed across the street, I go ahead and get them and we continue to move on down. That kind of makes it look more, a lot more clean and um, fresh as we get all the others on the street. I'm sure that the people here on the street do appreciate it especially since it allows a clear pathway for yes. emergency vehicles and just the, the everyday traffic to get by unimpeded uh, yes. by anything laying on the curbsides and whatnot. But I guess the thing that I want to leave everyone with is if you have an interest in exactly when you should have your leaves out, sure, go ahead and spend some time getting into the curb now and getting ready for that day that the crew will come by and actually collect your leaves. And the way that you can get a pretty good estimate as to when that date's gonna happen is to go to our website and use the service finder. And you'll find that there on the sanitation page. And with that being said, I wanna wish you a very, very good day.